everyone, welcome back to What's Sewing On. Today I'm going to show you how I made this dress. So I rarely ever have the final look on in my introductions, but two days ago, I don't know, I had some reaction to some new mascara and my eyes were Terminator. They were so bloodshot. There was no way I could film an introduction. I barely showed my face. I don't think I showed my face at all for the rest of the video. So they're finally back to normal, but I didn't want to put any eye makeup on them just in case. So I'm just going to leave them for a few more days. Just got to go with it. I'm going to have to try something a bit different and basically show you the dress first. And then I guess we're going to go back in time and I'll show you how I did it. I really wanted a very plain dress with a bow sleeve strap. I think it's so adorable. If you've watched my channel before, you know I'm obsessed with bows, so anything with it, I'm going to do it. Normally, I don't wear sleeveless kind of outfits, so this is very unusual, but I freaking love the bow. I didn't have a pattern that actually had the bow sleeves, but they were super easy to do. For the pattern, I used New Look 6457. New Look is actually a simplicity pattern, and I never really go for New Look patterns. I have a few of them. I just really don't like the illustrations. I never really like the dress that they show on the packaging. I don't know, maybe it's like too cookie cutter for me, but kind of looks cheap sometimes. So it's not always a pattern I grab, but in this case, it actually went with what I was picturing really well. I went with dress A, well, I guess you could say dress B as well. I really like the princess cut, this little kind of cuff detail. I don't know what that's called on the bust. And I really like the A-line skirt. And then for the straps, instead of just making two, I just cut it into four and I made them a bit longer so I could have extra long bow tails. And yeah, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Wait, am I supposed to say that right yet? I don't know how this works. For the fabric, I love it. I think I showed it weeks ago in my spring fabric haul and I'm really sure that I didn't actually open it up to see how much was there because I think I remember saying that there was enough for a skirt. It was $7.99, so I don't really know what I want to do with it. I was kind of thinking maybe a paper bag kind of boat skirt, but whenever I opened it up and washed it, there was a lot there. I could have got away with puff sleeves if I wanted to, so I still might use some extra and maybe make a little tank top or something. I'm not sure, but there was enough for all of this dress, making extra long ties, and I even made a scrunchie. The fabric's like a baby blue and white pinstripe. It's a seersucker kind of cotton fabric. It's really soft, and I think that's probably why I didn't realize how much was there, because it's very light. So it just seemed like there wasn't as much there, but there was a lot. So I don't really know how to do this. I guess we'll just jump back to two days ago whenever I cut up the pattern, and then I'll show you how I put it together. <laughs> Rainbow. 
I'm having a really hard time figuring out which way this is supposed to go. There's a notch on this end and a notch on this end. So obviously I know that they have to be attached that way. And this has to face up, but I don't know what side this attaches to this. Is it the bottom side or is it the top side? Because you have to flip it over. And the pictures just look like a straight band. So like I can't see which way they're flipping up. Like what if I put it on upside down? If it goes this way, and this is say the right side, there's no notches so it doesn't show at the top if this is, if I do this and then I flip it up this way. Maybe that is right though. Why isn't there a notch? But what if it's supposed to be this side and then this flips up and over? I don't think so because it cuts in. So I feel like I would be, wait, or is it that way? I don't know. A little longer than a few minutes later. When you unfold it, it would open this way. So then those pieces curve out. A lot of boring math later. Am I just missing something? That just doesn't seem right. And then, or are those supposed to, see, then that would make them, that's not right. Aren't they supposed to line up together? Because why would they be uneven that way? Ugh. Then this one would go on this side and this one would go on that side. That's, if you could see my face right now, it's just pulling out my hair. What does this mean? Let's put the slashes matching. Four to six more days later. Yeah, that kind of makes sense because it kind of goes down. Let's try it. Down beneath the deep blue sea, where one day I chanced to be, the mermaids gave a very swell affair. I looked out from my submarine at the queerest ball I'd ever seen. Not a soul on earth I knew was there. Of course they did the tango and no one made a slip. Of all the guests assembled there, each one could do. So I have the top done. I attached the front straps as well. I forgot to do that when I was doing the back strap. So the pattern you're supposed to put on the facing on the front and then you flip it to the back because on the pattern itself, I can show here, it's just one strap. Since I made tie straps, I ended up just attaching the front the same thing as the back. And then what I did was I attached the facing to the back side I had the straps down and I put the facing all along the back side and then I sewed that down. And then basically I just folded everything over, pressed it, and then I went in before I did the top stitch and I just reinforced, you can see here, the straps to make sure that they stay up, but they're all sandwiched in so there's no open seams on the inside. And then on the outside, I basically just did a very, very tiny stitch all along the side. I tried to do stitch in the ditch, which kind of looks better here, and I wish I would have done that everywhere now, but honestly, it was so tiny. So I think it looks fine. I don't really, see, you can't see it that much, and whatever, it's stitched together, so there's going to be stitching, so that's fine. And I'm actually really happy with how it turned out so far. So now I'm going to put the skirt together. It's actually coming together really quickly which is kind of scary. When Father Neptune, wise old guy, at a mermaid winked his eye, at the mermaid fancy ball. Now I'm just gonna pin the top to the bottom. Normally I would show my face in this, but I don't want to subject you to red eye. I feel like I need Ben Stein to come in. Dry eye. For dry red eyes, Clear eyes is awesome. It removes redness. Wow. Maybe I'll bring something down that's a little more appealing on the eyes. Farley!
dancing around, they'd be dancing around. Oh, how he'd hold her, head on his shoulder, and oh, how he'd tease and get him with his knees. She'd drop her to a corner and he'd... So I have the zipper in. I'm just gonna go trim at the top of the zipper. I'm going to finish the hem, and then we're gonna have the reveal in the morning. You can probably tell by my introduction, but I love this dress. I am so happy with it. I love the fit. I love the style. I don't have to say how much I love the bow because I'm pretty sure I've said it a thousand times in this video. I'm really happy that I went with the extra long bow ties, but I'm just super happy with it. So you know what? I got to give it to New Look because I was being judgmental before I judged a pattern by its cover. And was wrong because you know what it came together super easy it looks really nice but all in all i'm really happy with it i wanted to add on some extra details i was thinking about adding some lace or piping which would have been really cute but i'm actually happy that i went with just a very plain dress i find from afar it just looks blue but then once you're getting up closer you can actually see that pinstripe in there and i just really like that about it and in the cooler spring i can always wear some kind of blouse underneath it and it could be a pinafore i'm just i'm just really happy with it and i freaking love this scrunchie. I made it super big with a little bit of leftover fabric, actually quite a bit of leftover fabric, and I love it. It's like its own accessory. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and I hope you subscribe. I will see everybody on Tuesday for my next video. Video. Ugh. Oh my god. Have the real. Gonna have the real. It's another hot one. I'm gonna back stitch. Wow. Ugh. Wow. What is wrong with me today? Ugh. <clears throat>